Good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Versabe, Alma Brisa, and Eduardo, Flor. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Very good, nice. Good. Welcome back. It's <laughs> good to see you again. Mm, me too. Uh -huh. How was your day? Yes. Uh, busy? busy? Busy, busy. Okay, nice. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. So now that, you know, with this emergency, if you are busy, that means that you are blessed. Blessed. Yeah. So if you're busy, that means that you have work and that is something to thank uh, the Lord for. All right. So what is today's date? October 6th. 2020. Very good. October 6, 2020. Very nice. Do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? Um, what topics see. did we discuss? Um, um, Ways to improve you, macro skills. Good ways to improve the macro skills. And what was the structure we were using exactly? By, by plus gerund. Very uh, good, by plus gerund, yes. So how can you improve a person's uh, pronunciation? Pronunciation? Uh-huh, how can you improve your pronunciation? Uh, talking about the... Other person, especially in uh, the uh, English, uh, native English. Native, yes. Native English. Native. Right, right. So by talking with someone whose English is native. Very good. Yeah. How okay. can you improve your vocabulary? Um, in magazines. By reading. By by reading magazines. By reading or books. magazines or books. Or anything, books. anything that is written. Can newspapers. you papers? The newspapers, magazines, comics, uh, mm, comics, yes. Anything that is written. You can improve your vocabulary by watching television, by listening yes. to music. Yes. How can you improve your listening skills? Listening to movies, in my case. By listening to movies? Uh -huh. listening to movies. Okay. Um, listening to music? Yes, yes, too. Yes, you can. By uh, listening to conferences, by watching television. Yes, there are different things that a person can do. Right? Yes, you're, okay. you're right. Any questions or comments? No, it's clear, okay. teacher. So how can a person lose weight? How can a person lose weight? By? Uh, running. By running. Uh, running. By going to the gym. By exercising. So remember, when you are mentioning or you're recommending how something can be done, you use by plus the gerund yes, form yeah. of the verb, yes. All right, so anyways, uh, any questions or comments about yesterday? No? no? no. Okay, no. so uh, let's check the agenda. Let's start right here. Let me, let me share right here. Okay, can you see the, the image? Yes, I 
I love this part. Okay, good. Maybe I should try that. Okay, where is the person? Where is this person? Well, uh, in his bed. In his bed, right. <laughs> He's on bed. Okay. He is at, he is at bed. Okay, so he's in his bed. What is he yes. wearing? What is he wearing? A, a pajama. pajama. A pajama. A pajama. Right. pajama. What does he have behind his head? Right here. Uh, pillow. He has a pillow. 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 Right. Yes, pillow. pillow. Right. And to his left, what do you see on his left? A blanket? Uh, okay. A, a lamp? A, Okay, uh, a lamp. What? what? Lamp, sorry. Okay, watch a or clock? Clock. 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 What's, the, clock. what's the difference between the watch and the clock? The watch uh, is the where you in your arm. You wear on hand. Like exactly. bracelet. Yeah, a watch is like a bracelet, right? You use it in your hand, in your arm. You wear it. And, and a clock is the one we have on the table. What kind of table is that? Uh, night table. I night don't table. Know. A night table. A night table. Okay. And somebody mentioned, what's the name of this green thing? Blanket. 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 Yes. yes blanket. blanket. So if you go to El Pital, you use a blanket, right? Yes. If you go to San Miguel, you don't use a blanket. What do you use? Another life. <laughs> a who? <laughs> Another life because a of teacher. This. Okay, so if, if you if you uh, if you go to Chalate El Pital, you use a blanket because it's very cold. If you go yes. to San Miguel, you use a sheet. 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 Sabana. Sabana. So you use a sheet. sheet like hoja, you know, same same word. Sheet. Yeah, sheet. Okay. Uh, can somebody can, can everybody take a, a screenshot of this image? If not, I will I will send it to the WhatsApp chat. Let me see this here. Nine to ten. Okay. Let me. How's your friend's glass going? All right. Okay, so we, how many people in the conversation? How many people in the conversation? Two, two, two people. people. Two, two people. people. Two, two people. Okay, so I'm going to read it one time. Pay attention. See the the intonation, the pronunciation. Uh, what happens to your intonation when you see a question mark? It's down. But what what happens to your intonation when you see a question mark? Um, the intonation uh, is down or is that strong? Okay, it's so strong. the intonation is of a question. Mm -hmm. Remember that Spanish yeah. is different. Spanish is flat. Because in Spanish you say, ¿Qué querés? ¿Qué te dijo? ¿A dónde fuiste? There is no intonation of a question. English is different. So, so pay attention. He says, so how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on a piece of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. All right, any questions about pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary? No? Excellent. Okay, so let me assign you to work in pairs and you guys practice um, this. So imagine if I'm working with Bersabe, at first I'm going to be uh, Won Ju and she's going to be Kelly. When we finish, I'm going to be Kelly and Bersave is going to be one you. So let me create this here. Open rooms. Uh -huh. Loading. So when you go to the room, you start doing the reading practice.
this part, but I couldn't finish or always um, resolve less as an error. I don't know what happened with the platform. I don't know if you have the same problem. I have, uh, I, I have had difficult too, but I almost, um, I almost uh, uh, done uh, all of, of, of the exercise. I, but... I have only two uh, uh, wrong sentences. <laughs> I, but I then is the problem of the of the platform or what happened? I don't uh, I haven't read. Let, let me explain. Uh, the platform, you know, when, when they were programming the answers, they include usually just one answer. So when you're doing the exercise, you know, according to the explanations, uh, uh, your friend's opinion, whatever, when you put something different, even if it's good, if it's not the answer that was introduced in the platform, it will be rejected. But just because it's rejected does not mean that your answer is not good. It's just that the, the platform was programmed uh, with just one, uh, with one option. And then what, what will happen with, with the grades or something like that? Okay, uh, I will send you guys the answers of the, of the, of the sections that you're having problems with. So your, your grade is not uh, going to be affected. Okay. Okay. I share my answers in okay. the WhatsApp group. Good. I, Good. I have a couple of uh, wrong sentences. All right. So I, I will send you the answer so you guys can make the corrections. Okay. All right. I found... I found it. I found it. You don't have it, Erica? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Erica, you're back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I hear. Welcome no, just back. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Okay, you will be one, you. Okay. So, how's your friend's class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best be able to get it right. You could, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on a piece of paper and sticking them on things on my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Huh? I think this the, the correct pronunciation. Okay. Uh, I learn new English word. Best? Yeah, be words. Best? By. Words. By. Yes. By. Words. Best? By. Uh, words. Writing best. them on pieces of paper. Okay. Thank you. I the learn new English words. Best? By. Reading them on pieces of papers. Yeah, I, I think is I think is uh, writing, writing, writing them on piece of paper. Is okay, uh, Enrique. Enrique is, is Armando. Is not Armando. there. Armando, sorry, Armando. <laughs> He's changing <laughs> names yeah. now. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was like, mm, I don't see your face right you? now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mauricio. Sorry. Mauricio. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Bersa. With the words, uh, for forget it. Okay, mm. and 
maybe he's repeat the words once, two, three, four, uh, any times for uh, for learn and memorize those words. Okay, I I prefer, uh, see, for example, see uh, 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 videos. Okay, uh, you video, say, you yesterday yeah uh, you were to, to learn english yes i i can listen to the music and and see the 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 learn in in english and the lyrics the, the yeah. lyrics uh -huh. okay okay um i practice english i have uh, my my partner in my office uh -huh. is uh, is a very good uh, speaker. English speaker. Yes, uh -huh. she she speaks very well, and so uh, some some things uh, we said in English to each other. But in so, your in your work, never uh, needs to. To speak or to write in English? Mm, no, it's not uh, not often. Uh, besides, we we work with a company from from other countries. And where do you work? I work in a in a drogeria. Ah, maybe so, some. Some names, medicine, some medicine names, you could have to 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 say it in in English. Okay. Yes, but yes, but uh, we we buy uh, from <clears throat> a companies from from uh, other countries, for example, United Kingdom, United States, okay. Canada, but. Uh, all days are centralized in Panama. So, what the reason that we almost not speak in in English? In English. Yes, the, uh -huh. the Panama is the the channel to to yes. to all that the business. Yes, you don't need to speak a uh, a lot of English in your work. No, it's um, it's not often. A, a couple of Providers uh, 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 speak English, but they are two or three. The, okay. the most of them are uh, are in Spanish. Ah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but maybe you could try to stick that words like in the dialogue di dialogue set, but could be. <laughs> Yes, I, I think. Okay, time's up. All right. Um, any questions about the dialogue you guys were practicing? Any questions about the picture? No. No? Okay. No, teacher, it was perfect. Okay, so let's do this exercise here. 3.10, let me see this here, share, share. Okay, so we have these different scenarios and for each scenario, they give you different options of, of how you can improve these things. So the first one is you can improve your accent, a good way to learn idioms, Students can become better writers, a good way to learn new vocabulary. People can become faster readers. One way of practicing conversation is you can learn to use grammar correctly. And the last one, the best way to develop self-confidence in speaking English is, so you have these uh, scenarios here. So are you guys ready to write or type? Okay, so copy the first one. You can improve your accent. Oh my God. 
You can improve your accent. Does everybody have pen and paper or something to type? Or if you wish, you could also go to your email and open it. A good way to learn idioms, that will be number two. A good way to learn idioms. Do you remember the meaning of idioms? Dichos. Yes, sir. Yes, dicho good. refrán. Very good. Number three, students can become better writers. That's number three. Students can become better writers. Number four, a good way to learn new vocabulary. A good way to learn new vocabulary. Number five, people can become faster readers. People can become faster readers. Number six, one way of practicing conversation is, one way of practicing conversation is, number seven, you can learn to use grammar correctly. You will give your opinion on how you can do this. And number eight, the best way to develop self-confidence in speaking English is, so eight different scenarios. For each scenario, you have to give your suggestion, give your opinion. Uh, by using by plus the gerund form of the verb. So let me recreate, recreate. Let me see this here. Add a room. Move to room six. Move to room six. All right, let me see this here. All right, so let's do this give your opinion or your advice for each one of the eight different scenarios. By plus the gerund form of the verb. Remember, you have this information in your email too. Okay, we need to talk about the, these uh, scenarios. Scenarios, right? Thank you. Or we need to complete the answers. For me, it's in inter interchange, uh, different opinion about what about the about the the, the, the topics. For okay. example, the the first one. What do you Hello, hello. Hi. Now I can hear, yeah. Now I can hear. Which number are you doing? Well, uh, the truth that I, I, I don't have, I don't have the, 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 the questions. Okay, uh, have you checked your email, Eduardo? 
No, 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 Mister. Uh, I haven't had time. Always, I haven't made any any homework. Okay, you need to do your homework because the platform will determine if you pass or if yeah. you fail. So that's how INSA4 monitors your progress. So it's necessary that you uh, that you go to your email, you look for Inglés Corporativo, and you click on, okay. on, 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 on the links that they sent you. Uh, okay, I will try to do that. I think that I have time, but so I have to call, let me see, I told you yesterday and I couldn't. We couldn't call him to the today. Okay, what time? What yeah. time can you do it in the morning? Um, uh, what time can you do it in the morning, Eduardo? I don't know. Maybe uh, tomorrow. Maybe at maybe at uh, maybe at nine. At nine. Okay. Give me a uh, call at nine o'clock, and 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 we can do it together, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. At nine. Oh no! No, I'm not sorry. Well, or, I will or, try. But or, or send me send, send me a message and tell me can we do it right now and I'll answer if I'm available or not. Okay, and I will try to do it All right. tomorrow night. Good. I'm going to put it on others now. But self confidence in S in speaking English is by practicing in your English class. Yes, it's the same for my case. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Okay. Practice. Anything in life, practice makes perfect. Yeah, it's true. Do we you have ten? The not. What is it? Uh, we have a uh, ten. The, yes, the I'll not. give you a ten. Yes, as, okay. as you're great. <laughs> we can, win our ten. <laughs> can, can, can you guys drive a standard? Can you drive a standard car? Standard? Yes, I can. Yes, okay. I can. Yeah. Now, do you remember? My car is a standard. Okay. Do you remember when you were in the process of learning how to drive standard? Yes, it was difficult. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. At the beginning, it's difficult. So, your if, yes. if you if you didn't make the right um, combination of the accelerator with the clutch, the car mm -hmm. will go off, right? Yes. For me, it was difficult how to identify when I have to make the change. Right. For me, it was everybody said me says me, uh, you have to to hear the, the car. engine. It, it, it tells you when you have to change. It, yeah, I say I don't know. I don't hear I don't anything. Listen, no. <laughs> yeah. But but with the time, I ha I I I learned to identify. Identify. Yeah. Identify. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So you know, uh, and and when you were in the process of learning, the car went off a lot of times, and then you made mistakes. But those mistakes were teaching you how to do things better. And now you you drive with your eyes closed. You know. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's 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 why practice makes perfect. Okay. Uh, the, the words to, to say the, the to try to say the same the, the, the same that you are say, uh, saying in Spanish for example <clears throat> and you try to translate that to the to the English in this case and if you have a, a like a lot to, to, to write like a letter um, if you trying to do it well you are looking for uh, for the right way to 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 put all the information together and and, and, and grammatically correct, you know. Okay. Yes, I, I agree with you. Uh, also, you Eduardo, what do you think about this? You are in question number three. Yeah, we are discussing sentence number three. A student oh. can become better writers, yeah. better writer. A students can become better writers. I think can be by reading magazine in English or maybe by doing translation exercises. Okay. 
Yeah, it depends what your goal is. You know, if uh, yeah, exactly. if, if you're translating, if you're checking punctuation, uh, spelling, yeah. it depends what your target is. Yeah, exactly. For something like that, but in English, I think that we can practice maybe at least in the chat or something like that in our social media by writing in, in English, I think. Yes, you're right. Excellent. And I, I, I think is we need to get more vocabulary. We, we need to, to see how we can improve. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's good that students uh, practice and more and more their English to improve it. To 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 become to become better writers. <laughs> yeah, okay, they have excellent. to to read to to have a better writing. <laughs> yes, I yes I know, and well, it's a, it's a good opportunity for them. Well, we have me. to because we are student students right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The problems uh, I think students right now they. Uh, they don't want to read books is they right now they are very busy with their um, cell phones and they don't practice the reading no any uh, they they i think i think that they that they always want to a summary of something they don't like to read yes. a lot the same of people said. Yes. and reading yes, has right. magic Reading has magic. Reading can do a lot of things for you. Yes, the imagination could be a good, yeah, better with if you read. Exactly. Uh, well, exactly. Right. And that's the idea. When you read, you're supposed to go to that dimension where you are reading. Yeah, no. okay. we have to practice more. Right. by reading. Okay, let's talk about the number four. A good way to learn new vocabulary is? Mm, maybe could be by reading magazine in English or by studying a learner's dictionary. Mm, I think one of, of Two option could be could be by doing translation exercise could be by doing yeah, yeah. maybe yeah I, I like the option uh, by studying a learner's dictionary. when select the, the clients uh, okay. mm -hmm. they visit you and um, they offer uh, seguro oh. insurance insurance, insurance uh, for the people visit my house damage uh, my room or my my bedroom on my windows or my bed and uh, the insurance cover the damage. Uh -huh. ah, okay. But it's, uh, it's I, um, in November, I, I hope to, to offer my, my room in my house. <laughs> it's, ah, okay. it's extremely fun to, uh, to have more money, but it's necessary in this day, in this time. Yes. <laughs> okay, you, you're going to sell what, Alma Brisa, in November? In November, um, 
I rent one room in oh, my house. Okay, okay. You still live near Carretera al Puerto? Oh, yes. Uh, 40, 40 minutes to La Libertad. Uh -huh. Okay, to what what part of, of La Libertad do you live in? Uh, 15 kilometers or 40 kilometers. Okay, um, but, but what's the name of the neighborhood? Um, yeah, oh, Peñaflor, Cumbres de Peñaflor. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Cumbres de Peñaflor, and I stay in front to El Encanto. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, so nice and here. Ice, but uh, sorry, I yeah. don't. I don't they, hear you. I said they have nice neighborhoods in that area. Oh yes, only foreigners. Mm, it's no uh, Salvadorian, no. Only uh, foreigners. Extranjeros. Foreigners. foreigners. Okay. Foreigners of Europe, Europe and. Uh, United States and uh, uh, Argentines, uh, Colombians. Yeah, uh, yeah okay. South America. Uh -huh, South American and um, I work with a platform Airbnb. Okay. This is the name. This is the name. The platform. Okay. okay. I register my uh, room in my house. The people use my house, my um, my uh, cuisine. No, my my kitchen. Uh -huh. My kit. Uh -huh. uh, my uh, swimming pool. Uh, all the all the house. Okay, all the facilities. Those, all the facilities. Okay. okay. Only for three days is the minimum days. The people uh, staying here in my house, and the the more time is uh, a weekend uh -huh. for staying in my house. Okay. Because the people is rotating uh, uh, in all month, uh, different people visit me. Three three people or. or Depending the stay in my house, the people. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay, I mean, so no, uh huh. Go ahead. Uh, the pay is the, the day, uh, also, the people pay in for day, um, maybe forty dollars for night. Mm -hmm. Okay, or, that's that's a, an accessible price. Um, accessible price? No. no, accessible, accessible. Accessible, yes, sure. because they pay uh, le uh, less uh, money that he visit the hotel. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. And because they pay uh, probably uh, $100 or uh, 20 uh, Oh, or eighty dollar or ninety dollar for night right. in my house. They pay uh, forty or uh, fifty dollar for night, depending. Yeah, forty dollars mm -hmm. is is very accessible. That's a, that's a good yes. price. Yes, yes. Okay. And it's yeah, <laughs> it's a new force to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Okay. You of each tense, of course, you won't uh, be able to speak to uh -huh. to. All right, all right. So let's do this all together. Uh, how can you improve your accent? One tip, how can you improve your accent? Uh, by, speaking by, by speaking with native. Okay, speaking with a native speaker. Good, with a native person. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about number two? 
a good way to learn idioms. To memorize them and practice them. By memorizing them and practice them. Yes. Very good. What about number three? Students can become better writers by? By reading it's... to English speaking pals. Okay, by reading and speaking with English speaking pen pals. Yes. So remember, before you write, you read. So reading is a good uh, foundation to have a better writing. Very good. Okay. What about number four? A good way to learn new vocabulary. By, by studying a learner's dictionary. dictionary. Okay, by using a learner's uh, dictionary. Okay. Can mm -hmm. you learn new vocabulary by watching movies? Yes, yeah, could be. Maybe, maybe. Cool, maybe. Can you learn vocabulary by listening to music? Yes, it yes. depends mm -hmm. on the so, music that you learn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Regina says it depends on the music, right? <laughs> so yeah. I I could recommend uh, listening music from Christina Perry because. She pronounced very, very clear. The, the okay. Her Good. music. Is very Adele clear. too. Okay. Adele too. It's, it's Adele. the same style. Oh. <laughs> Good. Good. Very good. Yeah, there are different ways on, on how someone can improve or, or learn new vocabulary. You know, reading, speaking with a native person, watching movies, listening to music. There are many things, many ways you can do it. Okay, uh, people can become faster readers by? Reading magazines in English. Reading magazines in English, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other tip? Maybe by listening audiobooks. Good, maybe by listening yeah. uh, to yeah. audiobooks. Yes, yeah. very good. Yeah. Singing, singing a song, get the lyrics. Yes. And, and, and try to follow the, the, the thing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, in the past, that was more difficult. You know, like you had the song, but nobody had the lyrics. Nowadays, you just go to yes. YouTube and the lyrics are right there. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, it's right. Right. What about number six? One way of practicing conversation is? By role playing with a partner. By role playing. By role playing yes. with a partner. Role playing with a partner. Okay, good, good. Number seven, you can learn to use grammar correctly by. Uh, mm, I think um, by, talking to by, not the English. Grammar. What is it? One more time. Uh, by talking to not the English speakers. Okay, native English speakers. Okay, speakers. Yes. Okay, but remember, not all the native speakers use a uh, good yeah. grammar. Yeah. 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 For, for me, for me, teacher, uh -huh. is doing translation exercise. Okay, all right, that, that yeah. can work. Yeah. And remember that everybody learns in a different way. Everybody has different learning styles. So what is good for me, maybe doesn't work for you and vice versa. Maybe what works for you doesn't work for me. So it's everybody's different. Everybody has a different way of, of learning. Yes. Uh, 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 have you ever spoken with British people? Yes, I have. Yeah, they they uh, talk, uh, um, uh, they talk uh, grammatically very, very correctly, very nice. Yes. They're, they're very strict when it comes to speaking, you know, because they claim that the English language originated with them. So they they try to show respect for the language and they use it well. Yeah, they are very different from U.S. Right. Uh, people. The accent is def different. Yeah, the accent is different. Yes, the, very the, different. The accent and the, the, and the use of grammar. They, Pronunciation. They, yeah. They, they, they respect the grammar. Right, right. Okay. okay. And number eight, the best way to develop self-confidence in speaking English is? By practicing 
in your English class. Okay, by practicing in your English mm -hmm. class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other tip on how you can develop self-confidence? Don't be shy when you're talking. Okay. By not being shy when you're talking. Exactly. And by remember, every, everybody makes mistakes when, when we speak. You know, even native speakers. So don't be afraid to make mistakes because mistakes are part of the learning process. Mm. Okay. Any questions about uh, this exercise? No, for the moment. No? no. Okay. Oh, okay. So we go to our last uh, activity, which is related that something we have experienced um, uh, in the past. So let me... Okay. Uh, okay. Can you see the questions? Yes. yes. Okay. Teacher. What is the topic? When you hear the word then. danger. 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 Yes. Danger. So let me send you this image to the to the WhatsApp chat. It's right there. Um so let me reassign you so you guys can work together again. Uh, we only have like 12 minutes. So let's do this. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. What comes to mind when you hear the word danger? That well, the maybe something that could is some that can damage your health or your body, I think. Something yes. that can damage yes. Okay, okay. In my case. When in my mind um, comes to my mind when I uh, hear danger is uh, crash the the cars <laughs> and <laughs> it's accidents be, be, uh, accidents because it's my I think it, you're, yes tell me. Yes, it, it's, it's very difficult for us because we don't know if we will uh, come back to, uh, to home because it's uh, the violence right now in, in our country is, is high. Um, yeah. Yes. Terrific. We are afraid. We are afraid for the different events that happened it happened in our country and i i read uh, a few weeks ago about a complete family uh were killed it, it is is horrible is yes, yes. it's, it's horrible it's i i don't understand how we can uh we can have uh a lot of violence and we are we continue living with this violence is uh, I I don't know uh, we and, and, and check the floor we have to feel like uh, nauseous and all stuff and, and, and those kind of people like uh, as a sport to jump from bridges or, or yeah. planes or whatever. That's so, 
Have you ever been in danger? In my case, yeah, I have um, I have been in danger when when let me see um, when sick me six yeah when you were sick sickness sick or, yeah yeah in okay. that moment and you have you ever been in danger in the uh, from a bull for for example in Spain or yeah. for people um, um, sailing in rivers in in kayaks the, I think door, door, those activities are danger and extreme I like, yes and I don't like to me <laughs> you don't like them no we are, we were talking about, for example, in Spain, uh, people like to uh, run away from bulls. Okay, right. <laughs> that, no, it's it's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> so not everybody likes the the adrenaline, the the rush uh, sensation. Yes. Uh, we are talking about question number two about danger and about Take risk in the life. Okay. Take risk in the life. It will be reasonable. 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 Yes, but but uh, risky activities, uh, I think, is another thing. Right. Right. But that's mm -hmm. the the only time I think that I felt a lot of a. Uh, it's scary. I, I was so scary. Okay. And next question is, what dangers are are there in your house? In my house, what? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think nothing. Okay. Not, I don't. Maybe you can felt for the the second floor i think uh -huh. okay what about you in my case is that i have many trees around my house and uh, when when it rains sometimes uh, they fall down grow. and yeah. it's a danger in my case mm -hmm. where do you mm -hmm. live regina i live in los planes de renderos yes a lot of nature. <laughs> yes, I, I, fortunately, I have a lot of nature around my house. But when it was when it's raining, for example, the last storm, I don't Amanda. Yeah. A lot of trees fall down, and was a terrible situation here. Okay. Yeah, Los mm, Planes okay. has a lot of vegetation. Yes, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and that's why, you know, people, many Salvadorians, we go to Los Planes on a Sunday or a Saturday to eat pupusas because the weather is, is, is fantastic. Yes. Yes, for example, uh, right now it's so cold, right? Right here. I imagine. And yes, I love it, that, that weather. Yeah, yeah. Have yes. you been in Los Planes all your life? Every, every, all my life, but just for a period that I lived in Honduras. But then since I born, I lived here. So you are from Los Planes? I from Los Planes, yes. Good, good. <laughs> they have some beautiful quintas there, some nice houses. Yes, it's too big. big. Yes, too big. Big houses. Yeah. The, mine is it's little, but I have... Uh, a lot of trees here. <laughs> right, right. We went to Los Planes like two weeks ago and uh -huh. we went to the Mirador and in front uh -huh. of the Mirador, they're selling a big house and they're uh -huh. asking like almost $1 million for, for, yes. for the house. <laughs> but the house has been, have been uh, on sale 
Oof, a lot of time I go, but no, nobody buys it. Buy it, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, Los Planes is definitely a, a, a beautiful place to, to visit and to live. Yes, I love yes. living Good. here. <laughs> Good for you. Some, some, some streets, streets, but that street, I think, is dangerous. For example, in, in, my, in my house, there are a neighborhood very, very dangerous. And I can enter to that neighbor. Really? Okay. Yes. Yes. For that reason, I try to to use only the the street that I know. Never I use a street that I don't know. Right. Even when ways says ways says you that you can go for that that street. Exactly. Exactly. And yes. do you near San Salvador or uh, uh, during the week I stay here in San Salvador but okay. on weekend I go to to Chalchuapa because my my house is in Chalchuapa. Uh, Chalchuapa is, is uh, a good place to to live or not? Yes it, it is it is beautiful I, I, I like that more than San Salvador. I don't like San Salvador because <laughs> there are a lot of traffic jams ev ev everywhere. <laughs> and in Chachapa, there are no traffic jams. But some, some neighborhoods are very dangerous. I never enter uh, in some neighbors. Yeah. Neighborhood. Okay. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, I'm here. All right, welcome okay. back, welcome back. Okay, I know that maybe you didn't have enough time to answer all the questions. Um, okay. Any comments, any questions about danger? We remember bad experience, teacher. <laughs> right, right. And that's why I told you at the beginning when I was introducing the topic, you know, it's a topic that we have experienced uh, maybe in the past. I yes. have experienced danger many times in my life, but thank God, here I am. We live in El Salvador. Right, <laughs> we live in El Salvador, so you expect whatever. Yeah. Right. Okay, so thank you very much again for your time. Thank I'll you, be sir. seeing you tomorrow, you. same place, same time. Have a good night. Okay. Have thank a good night, too. Bye. 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 Good night to everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good bye. Bye. Let me check. <laughs>